All right. So we are live, Instagram and YouTube. <laughs> um, today we're going to do some foam rolling and stretching today. So it's just going to be a 30 minute class. What I need from you guys, people that are logging on, what do you want to focus on today? You can focus on anything that you want. So please let me know as you're joining in, leave a comment. Let me know where you're feeling cranky. <laughs> Is it your neck and shoulders? Um, from you know being hunched over your phone or is it your hips or your calves or like whatever is bothering you let me know and we're going to focus on that today so I'm going <clears> to <throat> customize it a little bit but we'll wait a few minutes a couple minutes for people to log on before we get going what you're going to need obviously is a foam roller so any foam roller will do whatever preference you like grab your foam roller if you do have massage therapy balls, um, grab those. Those are really handy, and um, I like these a lot. So if you do have those, if you don't, uh, tennis balls, lacrosse balls, things of that nature will work. And that'll be it. So grab your equipment, get your mat, and we'll get gone here in a couple minutes as we wait for some people to come on for our foam roll and stretch class. And again, uh, let me know what you want to focus on today. Neck is cranky. All right, we're gonna we're gonna work on uh, some neck stuff. That's some of my favorite stuff to work on. <laughs> Anybody else have any requests for what you would like to foam roll or stretch today? Let me scroll through to see if anybody. <sighs> any more requests? No? Okay. Well, as people log on, we'll, we'll see um, we'll see what we get. So, okay. Let's get going. Grab your foam roller. You got your mat handy. Um, I have a couple foam rollers. Uh, most people probably have um, a hard black foam roller. That's fine. Uh, you can soften it up by using uh, a yoga mat. You can roll it into a yoga mat. So since we're going to focus a little bit on neck stuff, um, <clears throat> then you probably want a little bit of a softer roller. So I use this o OTPT uh, foam roller, and it actually is very soft, so it bends. It's really nice to you. Um, I also like the Trigger Point Performance and the hollow one, and it has um, like this foamy material on, on it as well. So this is like a medium density one, and the other one's soft density. So we're going to go into, if you have a harder foam roller, Grab your harder foam roller. We're going to start with some back stuff. So we're going to work on some back, neck, shoulders today. Go ahead and place that roller um, your, in your mid-back. So below the chest line slightly. Below the chest line. And then scoop your head up, support your head, elbows point towards the sky. And we're going to roll up and down. So a lot of you probably have done this. It feels amazing. Um, uh, separate your shoulder blades. So your shoulder blades are wider. That's why we have our elbows up. So we're rounding a little bit through the upper back. So rolling up and down. And then I want you to lean to the right side and focus on your the right side of your back. See if we get any more requests here. Hi, hi, hi. If you have any requests, we're going to focus on neck today, neck and back. So you're focusing on your right side. And then lean to the left side, focus on the left side. Come back to center. You can keep your butt up or bring your butt down and elbows are up towards the sky, round through the upper back between the shoulder blades and rock side to side. So if you just join, we're doing um, some foam rolling and stretching, quick little half hour and we're gonna focus on the neck. So we're gonna loosen everything up then we're gonna stretch it out. All right, now open up your elbows and go side to side. 
So you're like you're doing a side bend, side to side. And then come back to center, and I want you to lean back as far as is comfortable, and then lift up. So you're stretching out the uh, chest a little bit here, and the front line, getting into the abs slightly. So stretching all that out. <clears throat> Good. And then slowly come up. So we're foam rolling. Take your time. Be deliberate. Be mindful. Focus on your breath. Now we're going to get in this area. So a lot of times our neck will do a lot of work for uh, to compensate for tightness in this area. So we're going to go on the side <coughs> here. And then you can support your head. And we're going to initiate that roll. So again, we're about chest level. And we're gonna roll up and down. Now this is a little more sensitive area, so if you do have a softer roller, you may want to switch to that softer roller. So we're just gonna go a little bit up and down, and then you're gonna pause and rock front to back. So you'll probably feel that tenderness as you rock front to back. All right, then you're going to pause again, move the roller up towards the armpit. So we're hitting right at the back of the armpit. And then again, roll a little bit up and down. <clears throat> it's always easier to roll small um, pieces rather than larger ones. So just take it kind of a little bit by a little bit by a little bit. Thanks for joining, guys. So we're, we're doing a little foam rolling and stretching today, and we're going to focus on the neck. So... If you've been having some tension there, this is going to be good for you today. So rolling up and down. And this can be a very, very sensitive spot here. And then rock front to back. <clears throat> Wait on everybody. Thanks for joining. <laughs> so rocking front to back here. All right, and then slowly come off and switch sides. Starting about chest level. Again, if you have a hard roller, you can always soften up by rolling up in a yoga mat. So if it's too sensitive, if it's too, you know, you know your pain threshold. So um, hurting yourself is never a good idea. So if you think that you need to hurt to feel better, that's probably not a great message to send to your brain. Um, <laughs> so try being kind to yourself and just go to that edge of the pain threshold. All right, and then rock front to back um, instead of forcing things. Like we, we get, we, we're unkind to ourselves in that way. Like we're, we think we need to like work out really hard all the time and like we're going to force this stuff to, to, to get better. And so try maybe a different approach. And be kind to yourself. <laughs> and you might get you might get better a little quicker. I don't know. Worth a try. So we're rocking front to back. And then move up to the armpit area and roll slightly back on the back side of the armpit. Again, you got some rotator cuffs attachments and insertion points and stuff in this area. So um, it can be pretty uh, intense for some people. So we're rolling and then pausing and rocking. <clears throat> so if people are still joining in, that's awesome. Grab your foam roller. We're rolling and stretching today for about 30 minutes. And we're focusing on neck. Okay, so slowly come off that roller. All right. So I'm going to switch to the softer roller. If you do have a harder roller, I would highly recommend <clears throat> rolling it up into a mat because we're getting into the next stuff, and this can be a quite sensitive area, and you don't want to hurt yourself, like I was just saying. So like I was saying, I like the OTPT. Actually, it's very, very soft. It bends. 
and it's super, super nice for the head and neck stuff. So coming back down, you're in this half turn. So we're um, focusing on the side of the neck. So go ahead and place that roller in the side of the neck. And then your body's kind of not all the way to the side, but a little turned up. And then just start to push into the roller. And you're not going to be able to roll much here, but you're just going to start to massage the side of the neck. So go ahead and try that. See how that works out. Uh, again, I don't recommend a, a hard roller here. So please wrap that black roller up in a mat to soften it up. <laughs> so we're just going up and down, pause, and then turn the head left to right. And then maybe do some circles here. Maybe some up and down the head, shaking head, yes. So work in different movements with the head. And then I want you to turn all the way inside and then place the roller on your jaw. So, you know, if you grind your teeth, you know where the, the spot is. So where um, the jaws intersect, right? <clears throat> and so here we're going to do some circles. And then rock front to back. And again, softer is better for this area, these areas. And then pause and open and close your mouth. So you're going to If you grind your teeth, this is excellent. Good, and now I want you to roll that roller back up a little bit more to the temple. And then here again, do some circles. So all this is connected to your neck. So the muscles that run along the side of the neck um, attach um, here and then the, the chewing muscle will actually is connected to the temple. So all this stuff is connected. So if you open and close your jaw here, you'll feel that contraction in your temple as well. And you can rock front to back. And again, just moving the head in different areas or different ways. Good, and then Go ahead and sit up. And if you actually look at your face, <laughs> you will notice probably some differences in, in your face at this point. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So moving to the other side of the neck. And you guys can just roll, but I'm gonna turn so you can still see me. And we're gonna go, you know, that half turn. And maybe start with like a little roll up and down. Again, you're not gonna go very far. So um, just do the best you can. Rolling on the side of the neck. And then pausing, maybe doing some circles. Maybe go up and down. Maybe turn. Shaking your head no, working that side. And then come to your jaw and similar stuff here. So you can start by going up and down with the head. You can rock front to back. And then pause, open, close your mouth. Moving up to the temple area. And similar here, you can go up and down. And 
rock front to back a little bit. And then maybe some circles. Open and close the jaw. And then slowly release. Good, so you should be a lot calmer now <laughs> and relaxed. So this is very relaxing. It's really good for stress relief, releasing tension, calming the nervous system down. So great to do before bed, also to help you sleep, promote uh, a better sleep. So hopefully you're feeling less tension here already. Now, um, I'm going to show you two things. Uh, one last thing. So neck tension, you know, can be caused by tension in the traps. So this one's difficult to get into. I actually really like the massage ball. So if you have a tennis ball or a cross ball, that works well. I will show you how to do it on a roller. It's a little awkward and weird, um, but I will show you how to do that. So most of you are going to have a roller. I'm going to show you how to do that first. Um, the aim is to get in this area. So <laughs> there's going to be a little finagling. <laughs> so you're going to turn like we were, except okay, now we're resting directly on the side of the neck. So figure out what you need to do with your body, and then you're going to push up. You push your weight up into the top of the trap. So you're trying to get into that top of the trap and then rock front to, front to back. So your head is not terribly supported here, um, but you're pushing up, up and into the roller, trying to get into that trap and then turning the head, turning the body, working that a little bit. Like I said, not the easiest position to get into. That's why I like the balls better. So if you do have balls, uh, massage, <laughs> massage balls. Um, so many jokes there. Go ahead and take both of them out of their little case. So if you have two tennis balls or two lacrosse balls, whatever you can, um, you have, you're going to take those, place them in the traps. Again, you're going to wedge them right in here and then lift your weight up so they stay. All right. So I'm actually going to turn this way so you guys can see it a little bit better. So I'm wedging them here and then coming up. So now they're, they're wedged in, they're staying. And then I'm going to bring the arms up and down. So you guys continue to work on the foam roller if you got the foam roller. And then go ahead and switch sides if you are using the foam roller. <clears throat> so you're going to bring your arms up and down and then you're going to move the arms side to side. So this is really great for releasing tension along the neck. And then maybe hug yourself and swing your body a little bit side to side so they start to roll, the ball start to roll a little bit. And then work it down, bring it down. So were you, able to, were you guys able to see that well enough? I could not see what was going on there. So let me know if that worked well. You could see everything. And okay, it's so just checking uh, with that. Okay, so that should be a real, that's a really great one for releasing that tension. Yes, okay, oh, you could see that. Okay, excellent. Um, definitely didn't know what you guys were seeing when I was in that position. Okay, so we released a lot of tension here. I want to get one more thing here. So I'm going to have to scoot. Uh, so you guys can really see this. This is this. Mu okay. So see this muscle. I turn my head and you can see this line. This is your uh, text next muscle. So it's called the SCM <sighs> and the, the abbreviate SCM. So it, as you can see, I'm grabbing that muscle and pulling it out. Okay. It's a thick muscle. So there's two. I want you to try this. So if you grab this skin, it's going to look like that. Okay. So I'm just grabbing superficially. We don't want that. You actually want to grab that muscle. It's nice and thick. See how thick that is? <clears throat> grab that muscle and just start to massage it. Now, some of you are going to have a hard time even pulling it away because it's going to be so tight. And if you have difficulty even getting a hold of it, um, just do the best you can. Like up here, I can't pull it away that well. So I'm just pinching and massaging it out. 
And that's that muscle that gets really strained and probably is the root of a lot of um, that, that crankiness in the neck when you're on your phone or computer too much and your neck starts to hurt. So this muscle actually gets shortened when their head is like jutted forward and uh, it gets tight. So just give it a massage. It goes all the way up to behind the ear. So just keep massaging it. And your neck is gonna feel like brand new <laughs> after we're finished. Okay, and then switch sides. So again, if you turn, mine pops. <laughs> mine definitely pops out. So um, just give it a little massage. Again, don't grab the skin. It's going to feel weird. Dig in there a little bit and grab the muscle and just massage it out. As long as you feel comfortable doing that. It, it's going to feel very weird for probably a lot of you. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, any requests, please let me know. But today we are focusing on neck. So hopefully you feel making everyone's neck feel a lot better. Thanks for joining. We're doing a little foam roll and stretching today. And we're massaging our text neck muscle right now. And you probably don't want to turn the head. So to loosen up, you'd probably turn, stay neutral with the head or turn in the direction that you're uh, massaging. And it will loosen up a little bit. <laughs> yes, getting out of the comfort zone. <laughs> for sure, getting out of the comfort zone for this. It's weird. It's really weird because a lot of these, uh, most of, like when I first started working on this muscle, I couldn't pull it away. So it is really tight. And even if you just, you know, go along, you can just massage here. If it is making you weird you out a little bit, <laughs> you can just massage and then just running your hand down along the neck too. So that works, that works as well. So if you're you're really weirded out by this one, just go ahead and give it give it a massage. Give it text next a massage. <laughs> We're using your hands. Okay. Now let's get into some stretches that are gonna help um, make these things stick. Um, a really great one again for the front of the neck, even though you might feel it in the back, uh, you know, we got to address the front. So you're going to crisscross your hands in the front, press down on your chest and then lift your chin up. And you should feel this nice big stretch along the um, front of your neck into your chest. And then here we're going to jut our lower jaw out and give ourselves an underbite. So open and close your mouth and give yourself an underbite. And you're going to feel that stretch even better. All right, come back down. Let's repeat that again. Crisscross the hands, press on your chest. Lift the chin up. Open and close your mouth, giving yourself an underbite. All right, and release. All right. We're feeling a little looser. Okay, now we're gonna go into, again, the side of the neck stuff. So crisscross your hands on this side, turn your head away from your hands and then tilt the head back. And you should feel a nice stretch down the side. And you can play around with the jaw here too. Maybe lift the chin. Maybe shake the head. And then repeat that again, readjust, press down on your chest, turn your head away, and then go up and back, and underbite. And then come back. Now, I wanna add a little strength to this. So the back of the neck is probably weak, and it's not holding your head in place. So with that same move, we're going to press down with one hand, bring your other hand behind your head, turn your head away or head away, and then press your head back. So you should feel the back of the neck contract. Now moderate that. You don't want to go too, too much too soon. So press the head back just to feel a little contraction. Do that three times. Press the head back. Good. 
Okay. Now let's switch sides. Press with both hands on the other side, turn the head away, stretch it out first. Tilt the head away and back and up and maybe underbite. Okay, move the head a little bit side to side. You know, play around with it. One more time, turn. Okay, now we're gonna press with one hand, turn your head away, bring the other head, hand behind your head, and then press into your back hand. So the, press your head into the hand. Three times. Good, and then release, and then shake it out. Now, again, we're gonna go into some strengthening for the back of the neck, so just interlace both hands behind the head. Now, you want your hands lining up with the bridge of the nose, so place those hands directly in that, in that line. Now, you're gonna give yourself a double chin, so you're just gonna press back into your head and hold it for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, two and one. So you should feel that contract, those back muscles contract. Now we're gonna work on the front. You're gonna bring your hand your fore, uh, hand to your forehead, head is straight. You're gonna feel these muscles contract. So real important here, I want you to feel the contraction. So that might mean less resistance, which I would recommend. If you're not feeling it in that area, then use less resistance. So head straight, give yourself a little double chin and then press your forehead into your hand very gently and see mine are popping here. My <laughs> text neck muscles are popping. So do that for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and then relax. So we're turning these muscles on. We need these muscles to work to support our heavy ass head. <laughs> now we're gonna work the side muscles. So here we're pressing the hand against the head and try not to use, do this, keep the head straight so we're neutral, tuck the chin back. And again, 10 seconds, you want these side muscles to turn on for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, relax. And again, very gentle, don't be aggressive here. Um, this side doesn't turn on for me as well. And you'll notice one side will work harder than the other. So, same thing, plug the chin back a little bit, gently press, isometric contraction, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great, and then relax, okay? So just do a couple of neck circles, see how that's feeling, shoulder rolls, see how that feel, feels. All right, now we're gonna go into some rotational stuff. Um, coming down on, so getting the neck to work well. So we loosen it up, we stretched it out, and now we're trying to mobilize it. So get it to work like it should. So go ahead and lie down on the, the, your back. Here, you're going to give yourself a double chin and think about lengthening the back of the neck. So we want, the movement is coming from the back of the neck. So you're lengthening, drawing the head up. And you might not feel this initially, that's fine. So tuck the chin down and then try to lengthen and stretch the back of the neck and then release. So we're pressing your head, you're pressing your head gently into the floor as you lengthen. And you might feel your chest pop up, that's fine. That's probably because it's it, that area is tight. Let's do that again, press the head into the floor, tuck your chin in and lengthen. And I feel that stretch, like not only in my neck, but I feel it go all the way down into my shoulder blades. So um, that's, that's a really good one. And then from that position, we're gonna work on rotation. So again, tuck your chin down, keep it tucked as you turn your head to one side. Now, as you do that, I want you to think about the chin is moving and the top, the head, chin is moving in one direction, the top head is moving in the opposite. So, and, and we don't want the, the head to go from 
you know, I want to show you seated here. <clears throat> so tuck the chin. We don't want the head to go out like that. All right. We want the chin to stay tucked. So this part of the head is going this way. The chin is going that way to where it stays on that axis. So think about that straight line of your vertebrae and you're rotating the head on the vertebrae. <clears throat> so we're going to do some rotational stuff. Do some more rotation. This is one of, one of the movements that's helped me tremendously with my neck pain. So rotating to one side. And then again, maybe just press your head gently into the floor as you rotate side to side. It may, it might be difficult because your head hasn't done this movement um, with proper form in a very long time, but uh, just keep working at it. The most important thing is not to let that chin jut out. That's, that's what's causing all these issues is that our chin is jutted forward. So just keep turning that head side to side, tucking that chin. You can also do this against the wall. Side to side, side to side. Okay, guys. So that is it for today. Go ahead and have a seat. See how the, sh the neck is feeling. Um, shoulders should be feeling a lot loose, a lot less tension. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed this, you appreciated it, you know, this, this seemed to work. Um, and any uh, suggestions for next week? Um, I'm going to try to continue these um, as long as we're on lockdown and all that, you know, businesses are closed. So um, next week at 12.15, thank, uh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, so uh, classes coming up, live classes coming up. Uh, next Tuesday at 11, the flex and stretch. So we do a lot of mobility and strength and uh, in that class. All right. Thank you. Uh, got a thumbs up. <laughs> um, so next Tuesday at 11, Eastern Standard Time, flex and stretch, a unique blend of stretching and mobility and strength uh, exercises. And that's a 45-minute class. Next Thursday will be 1215 for the foam rolling and stretching. So again, if you have anything you'd like to work on, please leave me uh, comments. Um, and it's so good for stress. Yes, Renee. <laughs> ah, you're welcome, Paula. Nice to see some people popping on there. Um, the locals, some locals. <laughs> and um, yeah, so leave comments, any suggestions, anything you'd like to see. I am more than willing to accommodate. And uh, I did pin the Vimo and PayPal. So if you would like to make a donation, donation, that's awesome. Don't feel pressured to do that. Um, and anything else? Oh, I got a shop page with foam rollers. Okay, so if you want some massage balls, and I know you do, <laughs> I have Amazon links on my Amazon shop page, which is linked in uh, from my website or in my profile on Instagram. So. The massage balls are super handy and super small and portable. And then the soft foam roller, if you're interested in that, that's also linked there too. So I got some goodies you guys can check out. Um, and then like other kind of categories as well. And then lastly, uh, I do privates. So we can, we can Skype or do FaceTime or whatever video conferencing works for you. If you're interested in some very specific things, more thorough with an assessment, um, I am available for that. So you can schedule on my website at masterstretch.com or just reach out to me uh, privately through a DM or text or whatever. So thank you very much, guys. Always happy to be doing some foam rolling and stretching. <laughs> it's my jam. I love it. So uh, I will see you next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.